Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today's Vigil Mass is Palm Sunday at the Holy Assumption Congregation in West Dallas, Wisconsin, is being recorded and brought to you on, Facebook, uh, on YouTube. Tune in again tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. and the Mass will be live streamed on Facebook. We can still gather together and worship and pray, even if it's not under the normal usual circumstances. Six days before the Passover, when the Lord came into the city of Jerusalem, the children ran to meet him. In their hands they carried palm branches, and with a loud voice cried out, Hosanna in the highest! Blessed are you who have come in your abundant mercy. O gates, the time your heads, go higher into doors, that him enter the King of Glory. Who is this King of Glory? He, the Lord of hosts, he is the King of Glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you who have come in your abundant mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who as an example of humility, the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross. Graciously grant that we may heed his blessed and patient suffering, and so merit our share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Because of this, God greatly exalted him. 
heavenly bestowed on him the name which is above every name. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to them. Jesus stood before the governor of Pontius Pilate and questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear? How many things they are testifying against him? But he did not answer in one word, so the governor was greatly amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, the governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner who they would wish. And at that time they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, Which one of you do you want me to release to you? Barabbas or Jesus called Christ? For he knew that he was out of envy that they had handed him over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife said to the lesson, had nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in the dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barnabas, for Abbas, excuse me, but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, for Abbas. Pilate said to them, then what shall I do with Jesus? called Christ, they all said, let him be crucified. But he said, why? The evil has he done. They only shouted the louder, let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but the riot was breaking out instead, he took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, his blood be upon us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas to them, but after he had Jesus served, he handed him over to the crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus to the praetorium and gathered a whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him, weaving a crown on his thorns and placing it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and let him off to crucify him. As they were going out to the Serenian, they said, Simon, this man they pressed for the service to carry his cross. And when we came to a place called Agatha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink which was gall. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. After they crucified him, they divided his garment by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And they placed over his head to read the charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by the wild were shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself if you are the Son of God and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests described the elders mocking and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. So he is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and he will believe in him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now, if he wants it. For he said, I am the Son of God. The revolutionaries who were crucified with him also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Ele, Ele, lama sabachthani. Which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders in hurry and said, This one is calling for Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran to get a sponge. He soaked it in wine, and putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink. But the rest said, wait, let us see if Elijah comes to save him. Then 
Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, rocks were split, tombs were open, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Coming forth from their tomb after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to many. The centurion and the men with him, who were keeping watch over Jesus, feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening. And they said, Truly, this was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's a little different Palm Sunday each year with no procession, and no palms, no congregation, except my brothers and sisters watching online. But we must never forget that it was our sins that put Jesus on the cross. And that many of the people who on Palm Sunday were singing Hosanna to the Son of David on Good Friday were crying out, crucify him, crucify him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and is seated in the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you in praise and thanksgiving. We thank you for hearing us, for we know that you always hear us. Hear our prayers and our petitions and meet our needs in accordance with your perfect will. For your church spread throughout the world, that we may be drawn together in unity, and that our brokenness and divisions may be healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Francis, our Pope, for Jerome, our Archbishop, for all bishops, priests, deacons, and religious, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacrament. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the nations of the world that there may be justice and peace and an end to war, violence, and religious persecution. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our own nation, for our own leaders, for our president, for our governor, for the mayor of our several communities, for all who serve the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Especially in times of crisis, we remember our first responders, our police, our fire departments, our paramedics, our doctors, our nurses, and the men and women of our armed forces, that they may be kept safe during this time of pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. We pray for all who mourn the loss of loved ones and cannot own property at this time. We pray that with them, we too may one day rejoice in the light of your face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, these are our prayers and our petitions that we bring them before you in the mighty name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth work is come again, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the wrong of his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by the sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, we suffered willingly for sins and accepted unjust condemnation and saved the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body and will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the sun was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you come before you to be in your presence and minister to you. Come then to pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and form the divine teaching we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious and grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin. 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace in unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My brothers and sisters, wherever you may be, offer those around you an appropriate sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, you know who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of you to stand in my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourish and be sacred gift, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call in Christ our Lord. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your family for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross and lives and reigns forever and ever. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.